yet another update. All right, let's see what they changed this time. Backpack battles. Again, thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Start up the game. I thought it was already starting, really. Connecting. Patch notes version 0.6.3b. This week, we try to find a place for Excalibur to simplify Pandemonium. We think, balance-wise, Pandemonium was in a good place before. That's a weird, like, new line, but that's okay. So we tried to leave its power level intact. Also, some of the new additions might allow for pretty wild things. We are ready to bonk them on the head if needed. Have fun, Doro and Mario. All right, tooltips, don't care. New recipe, mana potion, new recipe, strong pestilence. So this will be something with poison. Mana potion, interesting. Reworked Excalibur. It can now use mana to trigger food. We'll have to look at that. Pandemonium, removed speed up effect. Stamina cost went down. Okay. Staff of Unhealing got nerfed. Good. Because that is way too strong. Tusk Piercer starts with spikes. That's good. Poison Ivy now gives resistance against all debuffs. That does sound very strong. Lump of Coal got buffed. Good. Lump of Coal got buffed. Good. Lightsaber got nerfed. Um, Probably good. Blood Harvester. I don't know how much this one matters, but maybe it does. Is that the giant scythe? I think it is. Pumpkin actually got buffed. Only slightly, but I already thought pumpkin was very good. Fixes... don't care. How are we doing for wardrobe? No changes. What about you? No changes. I could buy stuff. I'm waiting for them to put out new characters, new outfits, something. Okay, which did they just say? Did I just read that they made changes to? Poison was one of them. Let's play as Reaper. Recipes. Mana flask, poison flask. I'm assuming. Oh, except this is a snake. Never mind. Maybe poison, and this is a mana drop. This is mana. I had a 50-50 and I got it wrong. I've still never had the chonk. I've never had Staff of Unhealing. Never had Crossblades. Never had Big Goobert. I only get to start with this? There is a Whetstone Sword. Huh. There's a shield. It's not on sale. People love stupid banana. Stupid banana's not that bad. Pan. I do like Pan, and they just said that they did some stuff with Excalibur. Plus one damage for each food. On attack, use 15 mana. Trigger all food. Weird. Very weird. Okay. Egg's Caliber has so many slots. Maybe it's good? I don't know. I mean, we have to take it because there are lots of things that work with the pan. The pan is also kind of a pain to fit into the bag effectively. Is it? I'm rearranging before I'm even ready. Good enough? Kind of good enough. I'd like to get that rock in the bag. I think I could have, but it's probably not worth doing. I could see this going either way. Cool. Broomstick and second pan. Huh. Interesting. And speed bag. And blueberry. It's a lot of ands. 
I assume I should still take broom. Just makes sense in my head. It's kind of hard to fit things. Is it that hard? It's a little bit hard. What is, uh, no. You're trying, I thought it was trying to combine with the banana. That would not make sense. Putting the blueberry in place of one of these also doesn't make sense. Is this good enough? I think that's good enough. Start the battle. <laughs> Maybe I should have had the speed bag on this, but that would be hard to do. Stamina is an issue. We win. Two wins. There is a dagger. Dagger makes me happy. Especially if the poison flasks just got buffed a little bit. I do see the regen on sale. I do. Hmm. I can move this bag. I can move banana over here. Put this here. Put this here. Kind of makes sense. Um, could be these two. I think that works for me. Does it? I think so. I expect to win, kind of, because this pan is fairly strong. Stamina is still an issue. Stamina is an issue for them as well, but not as much as it is for me. They had a potion. Cool. Alright, mana. This probably works with the mana potion, but what the hell would a mana potion be? It's on sale and it's good. Did we really just dig up one of these? That's a high value item to dig up, isn't it? I think so. I need bags. That's a bag. That is a bag. How are you doing? Not the best. Doing okay. Kind of tempted to get rid of the shovel, even though it just dug up something amazing for me. I'm just saying I'm tempted, not that I'm going to. Just thinking about it. Ideally, I think I would speed up this banana. Now I can't fit the shovel. I could fit the shovel. Okay. It's not getting to go into the bag, but all my food stuff is... The shovel just doesn't make too much sense to me at this point. It's okay. Am I missing a food? I'm missing one food. It could be the banana. People value the banana more than I do. They do. I'm not going to reserve it. Start the battle. <laughs> Still doing shovel stuff, huh? I feel like this is a little bit late to be getting that second shovel. Third pan, though. So if we look at these... 0.3 per second, 0.9 per second. Pandemonium is pretty cheap. It's also weird. It only does four things. Food activates, inflict poison. It would be kind of cool to get this one with this one, would it? 
because this triggers all the food. I could get three in a row. This one could have three. They would trigger extra poison. Like, does that actually matter? You'd have to get a lot of mana. If you got a bunch of blueberries, it would kind of make sense. Kind of. I'm thinking about it. The L shape also works with steel goobert, but how do you ever get a steel goobert? Whetstone is probably part of that. This is a way to get a pandemonium. I will take a pandemonium. It lowers the stamina cost, and I happen to have a second pan right here. How convenient. What about cards? Gain two luck. Cards did become better. They're probably better on Ranger. Maybe not, though. I'm trying to think. The lovers with the health thing, that would be good on either character. I don't know. The spikes are good on Ranger. They're good on either character. I could fit this pan. I just don't think it's very good for me to. Unless I get rid of Shovel. I can get rid of Shovel, get cards. Start the battle. Two money tied up in a pan, who cares? Do I win? I'm not sure, this looks pretty close to me. I lose. Goobert. Goobert. Goobert is interesting. Let's look at Goobert. Goobert costs six. Ooh, blood Goobert. Ooh, poison Goobert. Wait a second. Poison Goobert could be a real thing? Could that be a real thing? Plus, it just makes a little bit of space. Okay, sell the rock. Buy the bag. Buy the Goobert. Figure this out. Figuring this out is gonna be fun. Totally not a pain at all. Definitely fun. Let's drag all of this over here. So, we have a ripsaw, which is pretty awesome. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Ripsaw. Attacks fairly quick, it uses some stamina. Pandemonium attacks fairly quick, it uses some stamina. Kind of uses too much stamina, but it is what it is. Goobert. Goobert. If I just keep saying Goobert's name, I'll figure out what I'm doing with Goobert. So Goobert wants a blueberry. Goobert wants more poison stuff, but not right there so much. Banana. Banana is slow. Poison Goobert. This is not the best way to use this pan. Stamina use is only medium. This is not the best way to be using this poison bag. Huh. I could go second shovel. That does not make sense to me. What if you go double pandemonium with three blueberries in between the two? I think Ripsaw is strong enough that it doesn't matter. I expect to win. They do have regen. Ripsaw shreds through regen. Like, I don't even think this is going to be close. <laughs> and 
and I wasn't even really using pandemonium. This sword is just very strong. More regen. More mana. It does seem like there are things that work with mana. There's also this. Pretty sure it's flute. How sure? I don't know. Pretty sure. I also feel like it could be mana. I don't know why I want the mana yet, but I do. Plus, mana works well with the flute, kind of. A little bit. It does. So, for flute placement... Right here, I get four. Right here, I get four. Four. Good enough. What about this regen? I'm not using this poison bag well at all. It's kind of painful. Um, I should change that. But these two activate fairly quick. Bam. Still doesn't do much for me, but at least there's a couple things going through the poison bag now. In theory, in the future. Pan is still not doing much. Food activates, inflict one poison. Five activations, cleanse two, inflict four. Okay, start the battle. I don't think it matters. I think the ripsaw is what matters. You have a falcon blade that doesn't really do anything. It, the falcon blade will do something next turn when they have carrot goobert. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe falcon blade does a lot. Maybe it does. Falcon blade does 103. Ripsaw only does 80. Poison does 87. I do have a Poison Goobert. Vampirism. I don't think this is a fatigue build because I'm not doing any kind of defense. What about lifesteal? Your poison steals life through vampirism. Let's try it. Plus, it's easy to fit. There is a potion bag. We know that there are new potions. I don't know how to make them. Wait. The mana potion is blueberry plus this. I just want to see... Okay, that would make the mana potion. Um, I'm guessing I want something that actually uses mana to make use of that. Why would I buy this? I don't know. That's a slow activating food. I don't really need this because poison's not an issue. I mean, it's okay. Blueberry. I'm using this blueberry. I am. Thorn Whip versus Ripsaw. Versus something else entirely. Let's move that. Ah, lock this. Cool.
So right here, we're missing three. Here, we're missing two. If I go up here, could move that healing potion. It's not really better, but it does give me a future space. Four hearts remain. This stuff, it feels like I'm close to having like one thing that would kind of work. Mostly poison. Maybe I want poison vampirism. But if they cleanse poison, which these potions do, then I'm kind of in trouble. Really, I want to be able to put on the poison very quickly. Poison potion would probably help with that. Okay. Let's buy this. Strong Pestilence Flask. So this gives three and one to myself. Opponent regenerates. You know I'm tempted by this dagger. But maybe I don't take that. Ideally, I would have the potions activating each other. But I also like this food near the pan. Start the battle. Eventually, I might let these combine up. I would have to do that soon. God, they have... They're gonna win. They have enough defense and enough heal, and then they blow me up. I think? Yeah, they have a lot of defense. I do rip off the hearts, but... And the spikes. They still have a lot of defense, and fatigue is scary. Super scary. That was kind of close-ish. Alright, what do you do? Strong Pestilence. Consume this and inflict three poison and one to yourself. After five seconds, another three. Hmm. Lightsaber. Got nerfed a bit. I don't really have blind at all. Second flute? Could take second flute. I need food. Second flute, though. Second flute gives me defense while I get the poison going. That's how I'm choosing to look at it. That's missing four. This is missing three. This is missing a bunch. Right. My potions should be set up better. I do think I'm going to let this combine up. I don't know if that really makes sense, but that's what I'm going to do. So you, Death Scythe, Poison. I might get rid of Ripsaw soon, but I'm unsure because it does activate Poison Goobert pretty quick. Third mana thing for no reason. I could just take cards right now for no reason. Start the battle. Fitting this scythe is going to require some major reorganization. But that's good because I'm not currently utilizing things well. Poison number is going up. And I'm dead. All right, 14 money. This scythe. How much energy? You use a lot of energy. I think Ripsaw is going away. Second potion belt is probably coming in. So you're gone. You're in. You are also in. What does that mean for me? I don't know yet. 
Ideally, these do want to be vertical. Poison Goober wants to be in here somewhere. Poison deals one damage per... Er, items inflict 100% plus 100% poison. There we go. Those are the words that I care about. So Goobert has to be under there. The potion belts probably have to be under there. I'm looking at it for a second. Potion belts... This uses up some of their space, but I can't currently use them. Goobert still seems tricky. This one, I'm assuming, doesn't have to be under the death side. Oh, I'm not actually using both potion belts, which is what would be important. If you use both potion belts... <laughs> it's tricky. Very tricky. Let's look at this weapon. This weapon also does decent damage per second and has good cooldown. It just uses a lot of stamina. Okay. I've never... I don't think I've ever tried to make this thing really work, so... I don't know how to think of it yet. Figuring it out. I really want Goobert underneath the scythe. So ideally, Goobert would be like this. I don't know how I want the poison bag yet. I don't know how I want the potion bags yet. Potion belts. The potions don't actually do that much poison. A little bit. Maybe they're not a priority. steel that would be nice what weapons do I have I have the pandemonium which is good doesn't really fit well it doesn't really fit well So we could do blueberry. I have three gold. I have so many bags. This wants a second food. It would have to be banana. Banana triggers so slow. Speed bag does make sense to me there. Speeding up the scythe does not make too much sense because it's pretty expensive for stamina and I only have the banana. <laughs> this probably goes over here somewhere. My foods are two garlics. Flutes can be defense. Defense is important. This is not a great use of any of this. Poison Goobert's important. I just need things that activate Poison Goobert quickly. Does this work with the bag? No. Potion 
ocean belts. So for the flute, four. This flute, if I scoot it back one, can get a little bit. You're getting five. You're getting five. You're getting five. You are getting six. Six seems good. Seems better than five. Kind of works. Basically, none of this feels very good. I don't even need this bag. How do I have this much space with a death scythe? How are things this crappy? I kind of feel like the flutes activating the goobert would just be better, probably because they would. If the flutes were able to fit over here... Huh. I have a lot of bags to make things work. The problem is that scythe, it doesn't take up that much space. Goobert takes up a bunch of spaces. Like, I would want the flutes to go quickly if they're activating Goobert. Start the battle. I feel like I lose. They have a lot of defense. They have good mana. Maybe if I get enough poison on here. Okay. I just saw that poison number shoot up, probably because the potion went off. I don't know if it shot up enough. It's up there, though. Poison? So defense looks appealing. Dragon Egg, also a little bit appealing. 35% chance to prevent 10 damage, remove one stamina. Other things give more block. Use mana. Currently, I don't really use mana, so this would be good. Cleanse Blind. I think these are both good, they're just expensive. Shield's a little bit harder to fit. Oh, this is a good Goobert activation. That's reason enough to get it. Um, flute. Flute. With these two bags, I feel like I should be able to position the food in a way that makes sense. This at least makes some amount of sense. What about mana thirst? Mana thirst makes sense. I only have one heart remaining. I don't think this is it. I've kind of just given up on this feels like a mess. Theirs looks stronger. Significantly stronger. Alright, that was a little bit painful. Next time, I'm going to try and do better. For now. That does it for this episode. Thanks for watching.